Another school district in northwest North Dakota is asking voters to approve a bond. This time, it's in Tioga, and Michael Anthony tells us more. Growing enrollment and overcrowding concerns are ongoing trends around the region. Here in Tioga, the school district is looking to bond for more than $23.5 million for additional space. We're going to circle 18 because that is our bigger number. More than 300 students attend Tioga Central Elementary this year. While it's not over capacity, Principal Tim Schaefer says they anticipate steady growth. That's why they want to build ahead of time. With no additional land at the elementary, the plan calls for six classrooms to be added at Tioga High School, moving sixth grade students. That move will free up space at the elementary for other programs like English language learners and title. So as we grow, those programs are growing as well too for those kids that need, need that extra help and stuff like that for those programs to, to do well. The bond also includes a new gymnasium which would be built right next to the current one at the high school. It would provide more space for athletics. We've got the other one so packed right now trying to get all the kids through practices, and, you know, early mornings, late at night. Similar to most bonds, voters are concerned about inflation and potential property tax increases. School is so important for the town, but boy, it's just, uh, it's just everything's just getting double whammied for price and expenses. Yes. Despite those issues, Superintendent Paul Olson said at a public hearing Tuesday that the addition is necessary to stay ahead of overcrowding. Being a whole part of this and seeing this from the inside, yeah, it's easier for me to say yes than when you come here and go, do we really need this? If the bond passes, the mill levy would increase by more than 20. A calculator on how that impacts you can be found on our website. The election takes place on Monday, January 8th from 11 to 8 here at the Tioga High School Library. In Tioga, I'm Michael Anthony reporting for your news leader.